I am going to show you the top Argent Metal creators and producers on YouTube. Let's go. I love the call and response in this. But he also has another song. Yeah, that's how it's done, man. I love the mix. The kick and snare is so... Ah. The way we died. So good. Props. Props go out. Go check him out. Ever since Doom 2016 came out, I've been on the lookout for other Doom creators. I scavenged the internet for more Argent Metal or Doom soundtrack-like music. And in the beginning, there was just vast nothingness. There was nothing out there. There were a few tutorials here and there, but other than that, there was just nothingness in the landscape of Argent Metal creators on YouTube. Fortunately, that has changed. And there are a lot of really good Argent Metal creators out there now, which I'm really glad of. For obvious reasons, I cannot cover all in this video. There is a comprehensive list made by Joffrey Plays Guitar. I will link it in the description down below. The order in which I will cover these artists has nothing to do with how good they are. There's no way I could rate them. They are all different in style. Yes, it sounds like Doom and Art and Metal, but they're all different. The band, the band. I love how he uses these glitches in the background to simulate basically the overheads of a drum kit. You hear that? So I actually wrote him uh, in the response to this song and he told me that he uses faceplant and well obviously different kinds of processing to create these sounds and um, yeah faceplant seems like an interesting synthesizer to, to try out and recreate the doom instrument Mick Gordon showed at the GDC talk 2016. But wait there's more of Sri Lai. in the background. This guy almost doesn't need an introduction. It's Joffrey plays guitar. He mixes the Doom Eternal soundtrack with all kinds of different genres and game soundtracks. And here's my favorite song of his. It is from his original series Fight Between Realms. The song mixes distorted synthesizers with real guitars and, and the guitar sound is just really, really, it's unique. Let's go guys, let's go. Ooh, the fake. The fake.
is so good. I like it. And you, you listen to the guitars and think the guitars are so interesting in this. It's, it's not like a guitar really. It's a synthesizer. The low end is 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 probably more a synthesizer than the guitar. It's it's cool. It's a cool thing. Yeah, it's cool. Good job, man. Chris, Chris Polesos. Chris, Chris Polesos. Chris Polesos. Probably nailed it. He's currently remaking the Blood Swarm section of the Doom Eternal DLC, and it sounds mighty. That's one thing I, I really like about these Argent Metal creators these days. They just nailed the Doom instrument, which Mick Gordon kind of showed in his GDC talk in 2016. It's it's pretty cool that, that they figured out how to recreate the sound. Build up, man. Yeah, this sounds so mighty, so vast, and uh, I love the choirs in the background, the the synth, the build up with the with the whoop up 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 up, whoop up 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 up. It's a cool thing. Congratulations, man. This song is cool. But we also have this guy. This guy is uh, kind of insane. Mick Gordon uses a shit ton of pedals and gear and analog gear. He has this synthesizer called Polyvox, which sounds just so dark and cool. And well, this guy has the Polyvox, some Metasonic pedals, even the same guitar, man. I mean... Fuck. It's pretty cool. Uh, I have tons of respect. He's making some crazy ass noises and will play my favorite song of his, which is an homage to Cultist Bass, one of my favorite Doom Eternal songs. Let's check it out. Rang, rang. Just these wide ass synth like guitars. I'm such a fan of these. They Cold Space has like a low rumble um, and and some phasey guitars on, on the sides and there's weird stuff going on which doesn't really make sense, but apparently these guys just get it. Respect to these guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, awesome. Respect. Next up, Zach Houston, aka I Magma. He composed the soundtrack for the series Doom mod for Serious Sam Fusion 2017. He has a whole album of, of songs and uh, here's the song he made with Chris Polesos. 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 I'm sure I got it. <laughs> I mean, you know, if the intro riff already bounces, you just know that the song will just bounce. Ah. Another thing to note is that they, all these art and metal creators have these synth sounds in the backgrounds and the melodies down. It's cool. This song is really fun and bouncy in, in a different kind of way. It still, it still sounds like Doom Eternal, but it's completely different to the other songs. It is honestly awesome to see so many art and metal creators rising and, and getting views and the production values is great, the sound design is great, guitars are all, always fucking awesome. It's, it's cool to be a part of this small little movement. I uploaded my first ever video on Doom Eternal where I mixed the Yu-Gi-Oh! soundtrack with Doom Eternal and uh, it's fun. I even have a card opening there. So check it out. Leave me a subscribe, leave me a like and a comment down below. Tell me what you think about these artists because they all deserve recognition and uh, that's what this video is for. It's to get these artists a little bit of recognition and respect. Um, see you in the next video. Wah.